Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your man Pierce Simpson. I'm here to commemorate your Thursday with the latest edition of Nice Kicks Throwback Thursday. Now this weekend, sneakerheads will rejoice as the latest Air Jordan 14 Low will release in a Laney colorway that sneakerheads are very excited for. So without further ado, venture with your man as we explore the history and the details involved in this iconic silhouette. Now, although this Throwback Thursday episode is over the Air Jordan 14 Low, it's important to understand the origins of the Air Jordan 14 itself, which was created by Tinker Hatfield. And for those basketball enthusiasts that may know, the Air Jordan 14 was the last silhouette that Michael Jordan would wear during his Chicago Bulls tenure. Incorporating and deriving inspiration from Michael's famed Ferrari, Tinker looked to create the Air Jordan 14 with a sleek and angular look while incorporating Ferrari-like detailings along the toe box and heel tag. In addition, the Air Jordan 14's heel was made to resemble a high-performance tire, thus making the Air Jordan 14 a sleek and innovative silhouette as it was released during the late 90s. Now, as I mentioned previously, the Air Jordan 14 was debuted during Michael Jordan's final NBA Finals appearance with the Chicago Bulls back in 1998, in which he would capture his final NBA Finals MVP. This shot against Byron Russell would be the most iconic shot, arguably, in NBA history, as he would help the Chicago Bulls secure their sixth NBA championship in eight years. By the spring of 1999, Michael Jordan found himself within his second retirement, and the Air Jordan 14 low would be derived releasing in the spring of 1999 with the royal blue iteration, or for those better known as the Laney. During 1999, it would be important to provide the framework to what was going on for our younger viewers. So here's a year in review. For starters, we had the NBA lockout in which the San Antonio Spurs would capture their first NBA title during a shortened season. In addition, various movies would come out during 1999, such as Any Given Sunday, The Hurricane, Big Daddy, and The Matrix. As far as music, we saw Jay-Z release yet another LP album incorporating volume three, The Life and Times of S. Doc Carter, in which Big Pimpin' would be on the album. The Air Jordan 14 low would keep many attributes as seen within the Air Jordan 14, just a lower cut. Specifically with the Laney colorway, we see hints of blue throughout the upper, along with hints of yellow, white, and black throughout the silhouette. Over 30 years removed from Michael Jordan's journey throughout high school, the story has been told time and time again of Michael being cut from his high school team. However, that hasn't stopped Michael from giving back to his Laney High Buccaneers, as he has recently renovated his old high school and has drawn admiration from many, thus the term Laney High within several silhouettes of Air Jordans. He incorporated the high school with several pictures of his Jordan brand athletes, along with refurbishing the court, as well as additional auxiliary features within the high school. Although it's been nearly two decades since the initial release of the Air Jordan 14 low to the 2015 release that is slated to hit retailers this Saturday, there's been a couple of celebrities that have been seen in the aforementioned silhouette. Those include the likes of DJ Envy of The Breakfast Club and Alshon Jeffrey of The Chicago Bears. Going forward, it'll be interesting to see if additional stars will be spotted in this silhouette. Is the Laney Air Jordan 14 low something that you want to cop this weekend? Let us know in the comment section below and as always, stay locked to NiceKicks.com for the latest in sneaker news and exclusive content. I'm your man Pierce Simpson and this has been another edition of Nice Kicks Throwback Thursday. Until next Thursday, peace.